Hello again. We are now in vlog 12 and I will talk about approval of energy conservation opportunities. Let's call them ECOs and how important it is to use the correct financial parameters when proposing them. For today the question is, what's wrong with a simple payback time? Are you still using the payback time to decide on energy conservation opportunities, the ECOs? You are not alone. Unfortunately, important decisions are made with this inappropriate financial parameter. Why is this parameter so bad? I learned this from a training company for energy experts in California. See the link below the video. The main reason is that the payback time is incomplete. It is talking only about the start period of the eco, forgetting the years thereafter, when it still contributes to your success. If only you get used to better parameters, you will never want to turn back to the payback time anymore. The great danger of this parameter is that there is an unwritten rule that it must be shorter than three years or they will kill your project. And that is hindering the energy transition. The funny thing is that the payback time of three years corresponds with the return on the investment or the ROI of 33%. And when the government sells bonds of 10% yield, then there's a run to the banks and brokers. Everybody wants this bond, which gives, however, much less than our eco. And don't think that energy efficiency is like gambling. The savings from an eco are usually very well predictable. So which parameters are better? One of them is the net present value or NPV. It takes a difference between the positive and negative cash flows in the whole lifetime of the eco. If the difference is positive, then you are the winner. To be correct, you have to discount the future cash flows with a certain percentage, but a spreadsheet will do that for you. The other parameter is the savings to investment ratio, or SIR. It is the ratio of this net present value to the investment. It represents a money machine concept in the following way. If the SIR is N, it means that every dollar you put in this eco, this eco will spit out N dollars in today's value. Today's value, that means that you can't complain that you have to wait 50 years for the last savings, because that is already discounted in the formulas. I will give more about these alternative calculation methods in my newsletter, so be sure to sign up. I don't send you tons of marketing email. Now, if you consider not only the savings on the energy bill, but also add collateral benefits of the eco, then the net present value and savings to investment ratio will increase still more. But even without that, better financial parameters will help the decision makers to see your energy savings proposal in the right way, increase the amount of approved projects and help the energy transition. I hope this helps you and me to make energy efficiency more appreciated as a way to combat climate change. We are at the end of this video. If you like it, please click on thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Look also to the links below, for example the link tree where you can subscribe to the newsletter and receive premium content about all that I discuss here and in the previous vlogs. Bye bye.